Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on cables. Let us read the question. A cable of span 100 meter and a dip 10 meter is subjected to a rise in temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. If the coefficient of thermal expansion of the cable is 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius, determine the increase of the dip of the cable. If the cable carries a load of 20 kN per meter, calculate the change in horizontal tension. What are the changes in reactions and maximum tension? Let us make a given data. Span is given as 100 meter. The dip H is given as 10 meter. The coefficient of thermal expansion alpha is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree Celsius. The rise in temperature T is given as 20 degree Celsius. The uniformly distributed load is given as 20 kN per meter. In this question, first let us find the increase in the dip of the cable. Using this formula, we can find the increase in the dip sigma H. Let us apply the values in the formula. L is 100. Alpha is 12 into 10 power minus 6. T is 20. H is 10. Finally, for sigma H, we will get 0 0.045 meter. We have found the increase in the dip of the cable. Now, we are going to calculate the change in horizontal tension and the changes in reactions and maximum tension if the cable carries a load of 20 kN per meter. Now using this formula, we can find the horizontal thrust before the temperature rise. W is 20, L is 100, H is 10. After the calculation, we will get 2500 kN. Now using this expression, we can find sigma H. From the given data, we can apply L alpha T and H. For sigma H upon H, we will get this. Then we can take H on the other side. We know that H is 2500. Finally, for sigma H, we will get minus 11.25 kN. So the change in horizontal tension is 11.25 kN. Since we have got a negative value, the horizontal tension will decrease. This is the answer for the first question. Now let us find the horizontal thrust after the temperature rise. 2500 minus 11.25 we will get 2488.75 kN. We have calculated the horizontal thrust before the temperature rise and after the temperature rise. Now using this formula, we can find the vertical reactions at both of the ends of the cable. W is 20, L is 100. Finally, we will get 1000 kN. There will be no change in the vertical reactions due to the increase in temperature. Now using this formula, we can find the maximum tension before the temperature rise and after the temperature rise. We know that the vertical reaction will not change. So in both of the cases it is 1000. But the horizontal thrust will be different. Finally we will get these two values. Let us find the change in the maximum tension. This minus this we will get 10.44 kN. 